Hey, welcome back. Stay tuned at the end of this video as I discuss how to discover a sacred symbol for your new year. Hi, so I had to do another quick home makeover update because the kitchen is coming along and it's so exciting. So I'm back at my favorite perch with my owl, which has clearly shown up as my sacred symbol for 2019. Do you have a sacred symbol for 2019? I'll share a little bit more about that at the end of the video. Um, but let me show you the view today from my favorite perch. All right, wait till you see what's on the other side of that island. So this wood, Merry Christmas by the way, um, was and is like behind all the drywall, if you remember those videos. And look, we have artwork up, hung, and the kitchen. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited. So the cabinets have been installed. Look at them, I love the simplicity. And then these are the wood countertops that come from locally sourced wood. This blued pine is actually wood that um, a pine tree that was killed by the um, pine bark beetle. And so the blue is evidence of what caused it to die. And it was already dying, right? So um, you have to cut them down to prevent other trees from dying, but it makes them also super beautiful. So I love that kind of recycling. And this um, part of the countertop is tamarack. This is where the sink is gonna go. I love appliance garages. And then look at the mudroom is another shade of Adriatica. And I created um, a coat rack from this piece of scrap. Again, the bugs, look at the designs that the worms, or the bugs or whatever these are. They just remind me of worms, created. Look at the mandalas, oh my gosh. So things are, coming together. So let me share with you how to find a sacred symbol for 2019. Okay, so you may be familiar with the concept of picking a word for your year, right? And what I would like to suggest is that you open up to receive a symbol. I love to coach and teach people how to live as life artists using symbols because symbols don't have baggage, okay? So when you think about kind of the, the focus points for you for 2019, what you want to be different, right? Um, I remember the years where I just really wanted to get my book published and just saying the words book <clears throat> or published sent me on this waterfall of like another year trying to get the book published, right? Or maybe you want to lose weight or um, make more money. And as soon as you say the words lose, weight, or money, there's this whoosh of like all of your experiences and memories of not experiencing the financial abundance or uh, the body, the physical body that you desire. So what if we attached a symbol? Symbols have no baggage. Right? Like my symbol for money is a hot air balloon. And the way that it um, connects me to my um, desire, a continuing desire, which I've had a lot of it fulfilled around financial independence is freedom. And the hot air balloon reminds me that if I keep my vibration high and share from that place that the finances will follow. So that realigns my focus um, and generates a really happy feeling. Um, the symbol I'm working with this year is the owl. I've worked with the owl a lot, many of you know, and what was funny is as I moved in, like the cookie jar and these little owls just ended up unpacked um, on my north altar here. And, whoops, you remember the story about the fire inside of the cookie jar is not owl cookies, but owl feathers. Oh my gosh. Um, and then there's this owl in the corner. 
So the owl is connecting me. There's wisdom and the intuition and the psychic ability. Um, it's also about illuminating my path. So I just finished a major chapter um, that was symbolized by moving into this house, my house. And so the owl has come back. It guided me into this past chapter. And now it's guiding me into my next chapter. So the way you receive your symbol is simply by opening up like, okay, Whitney, sure, I want a symbol. So you are simply going to pay attention the next like 48, 72 hours and see what comes up repeatedly. Do you start seeing turtles everywhere or lotus flowers everywhere or arrows everywhere? I've worked with the arrow, the diamond, the bee was last year. And what did the bee do? It guided me to my hive. So just open up, comment below if you have questions about how to find your symbol um, or any musings you have on that. Um, I have worked with two symbols. Last year was actually the bee and the diamond. This year is strictly owl, <laughs> I can tell that. Um, I worked with the feather that um, reminded me throughout the year to cultivate a lightness of being and it really helped. So um, from 1001 Lake Street, I want to say thank you for sharing this journey with me and Owl, Wise Old Owl, wants to help you um, remember or discover your sacred symbol for the new year. Mwah. Thank you for being here. Bye. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel here. See you soon. Bye.